Let's talk about some common Linux administration tasks. To start with, there's file management tasks. Let me show you on the computer as well. So on Linux, there's many files. And you can use commands like ls to see which files there are. These files need to be copied. Sometimes files need to be removed. And there are more file management tasks like that, as you will cover in upcoming lessons. Also, process management. On Linux, there are many processes that are running. I can show you top on my computer to get an overview of the most busy processes currently running on this system. As a Linux administrator, you'll need to know uh, how to adjust priority and occasionally how to kill processes. Another important task is user management. Even if no real people are using your Linux system, uh, there are a couple of user accounts. And these user accounts are defined in the etc pass wd file, as you can see here. Many user accounts do exist for the services uh, on your computer. And as an administrator, you need to make sure that these user accounts exist and they have the appropriate permissions. Which brings us to the next common task, permission management. So on Linux, every file has permissions associated to it. We can see that if we type just ls-l. You can see the R, W and the X, those are the read, write and execute permissions. And as a Linux administrator, you'll need to make sure that the, the appropriate permissions are applied. Also, you will need to work with services. If there's a web server running on your Linux server, you need to make sure that it's operational. The system CTL command will help you do that. As you can see here, systemctl status httpd, oh dear. I've got a web server, but the web server is currently disabled. If you see a situation like that on your Linux machine, you'll need to make sure that it's up and running. There are many different services that need to be managed uh, on Linux environments. Uh, also, you need to know how to install them. So software management. is one of the common tasks of the Linux administrator as well. Let me give you RPM-QA, which is querying the software database of installed packages on this system. And you can see a long list of packages passing by on my machine. And a less important task for the beginning Linux administrator is log monitoring. If something is happening on your system that needs your attention, typically it's written to log files. These files are in the var log directory. You can see a number of files here. And as a Linux administrator, you need to know which important items are written to which uh, important configuration files. Like the messages file, for example, which on the CentOS system is used as the default location where all messages are written to. As a beginning Linux system administrator, you will typically work on uh, a Linux server that has already been installed. And that is why in this beginning Linux system administration course, we don't have a look at partitioning of hard drives. Uh, we don't have a look at configuration of network either, uh, because typically somebody else will already have done that for you. But in the next lesson, I will show you how to install Ubuntu and CentOS Linux using default configurations after all, because otherwise you wouldn't have anything to get started.